Folks, Pastor Rocky Branch, hope you're doing great today. You know, the Bible says, This is the day the Lord hath made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Now, what exactly does that mean? You know, your day may have plans that don't take you to a nice spot. Maybe you have some problems you have to deal with today. Maybe there's some challenges. Maybe there's health issues. Maybe you're going in for surgery. Or you have a loved one that you have to make a decision on whether they're put on a ventilator or whether you take uh, them off of the machine of life support. I mean, you know, every day is a different challenge for all of us. I mean, we never know what we're going to have to do or what we're faced with or even what the phone call may come in. So it's interesting when I think about the scripture that says, Rejoice in the day the Lord hath made. Let us be glad in it. This is the day. This is the day. Well, it's a present tense word. And the Bible tells us that God's mercies are new every morning. That means that whatever you're going through today, you have new mercy, you have new direction, you have new grace. Whatever it is, if it's a vacation day, then it's a vacation day. If it's a court day that you have to go before a judge, then it's a court day. If it's a surgery day, whatever the day is, you can be sure today that God has already provided mercy for you today and grace for you. See, this is the day that's present tense. Right now, where we're sitting, where we're speaking, right now today is a brand new day. This is the day who made? The Lord made. God is able to do all things. You and I are limited, but God's able to do everything. So, this is the day the Lord hath made. Let us rejoice. Why? Well, if you are saved, beloved, then He is your Lord. If you are saved, He is your Master, your Savior. You see, the wonderful thing about understanding a little bit about God in our little finite minds is to recognize that God knows everything and He is going to prepare for us every day what we go through with the abundance of mercy and grace. So, whatever you do today, I don't know. Whatever you have to face, I don't know. But what I do know, the Bible says, let me rejoice in it because God made it. The Lord made this day. Let me rejoice and be glad in it. Why? Because God will direct me. Hey, no matter what I'm facing, no matter what I'm going through, could you imagine this? Now, please listen. Could you imagine facing a day without knowing God as your Lord, knowing Jesus as your Savior, the Holy Spirit as a comforter? Oh, my friend, think about living your life without that assurance. I don't know how people do it. Well, I do. They turn to uh, uh, alternate living, and uh, they try to uh, fill that void with various things, but there's no peace there. You see, the peace of God passeth all understanding. So this is the day the Lord hath made. New grace, new mercy. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Why? Because God will prepare for us what we need. So this day, whatever you're doing, whatever you're going through, whatever you're facing, rejoice and be glad in it because God has already made a way for you. God bless you. We love you. And goodbye.